Today we're going to take a look at graphing linear functions with the table of values, but we're going to be specific with our table of values and we're going to choose numbers that are going to cross the x and the y axis. These are going to be your x and y intercepts. And these will be two points and then all we have to do is go ahead and graph. So just to review, an x intercept is a point where the graph crosses the x axis, so right here. And the y intercept is a point where the graph crosses the y axis. If you're an x-intercept, then your y-value is 0. If you're a y-intercept, then your x-value is 0. And we can start building a table of values through that. Once we have our two y-intercepts, we just go ahead and graph the two points and connect them with a line. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a table of value method for finding x and y-intercepts. So here I have an equation. This equation is in standard form, so it may be a little tricky to graph, but for y and x-intercepts, this, set, uh, this setup is, is easier. So what we're going to do is, if we're going to find the x-intercept, we're going to go ahead and replace the y value with 0. So I'm going to work on that over here. So I'm just plugging in 0 where I see a y, and then solving my equation. So I get 2x, 7 times 0 is 0, so that's really done from my equation. And then divide by 2, we'll get our x to be 14. Now when I ask you what's the x-intercept, that's an ordered pair. So I don't want to just write x equals 14. I want to write the ordered pair, 14 comma 0. In the reverse, if I'm going to solve for the y-intercept, I need the x value to be 0. So over here, I'm going to replace the x with 0. And solve this way, 2 times 0 is 0. So that's off my equation. I've got 7y equals 28. Divide by 7, and we get our y to be 4. So even though the y is 4, that's not the y-intercept. So I have to set my y-intercept up as an ordered pair, like so. So this is how we find x and y-intercepts. So we have a few here, um, and we've set it up with our table of values, which I think definitely helps. So go ahead and pause for a minute and replace your x with 0, replace your y with 0, and solve. Okay, go ahead and check your work with what we have up here. So remember that you're finding x and y intercepts. If you're finding the x intercept, you replace y with 0. Simplify and solve. If you're looking for a y intercept, you replace the x with 0. Simplify and solve. And although you're solving the equations, you want to write your answers as ordered pairs. An x intercept will have a value for x and a 0 for y and a y-intercept will have a um, 0 for x and a value for y. Once you have your two points, so we'll go back to this example that we've already worked on, 2x plus 7y equals 28. We found our x and our y-intercepts here. All we have to do is then graph them. Remember, an x-intercept, you'd be moving over 14, so 2, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, I don't know, it's somewhere over here. And then 0, 4 is the y-intercept. That's here. So once I have my two points, then I connect them with a straight line to the best of my ability. All right, so we, here we have a new one. It says graph the equation x plus 2y equals 4. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and find our intercepts. So for the x-intercept, I replace the y with 0. So I'm going to say x plus 2 plug in 0 equals 4. So x equals 4. My x-intercept is 4 comma 0. So I'm going to go ahead and graph it over 4 on the x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. And for my y-intercept, I replace the x with 0. Therefore, y equals 2. So my y-intercept is at 0, 2. 
and that's here. And then we connect our dots, extend with arrows on either side, and we have a graph. So only needed two points to graph like this. Um, you'll see this to maybe you already have a graph and you want to figure out what the x and y intercept is You can do that just by looking at the graph So an x-intercept remember is where the line crosses the x-axis. So that's right here So now I just have to remember to write it as an ordered pair Which means I'm going to the right two But up zero Then I look for my y-intercept Here it is Right there What's that ordered pair? I don't get to go anywhere left or right, but I do get to go down one. So now I have my ordered pairs, my x and y intercepts from a graph that was already given to me. All right, it's your turn. You're gonna go ahead and graph these by finding the x and y intercepts and putting them on the graph. The first two examples are done for you here. We found our x-intercept to be negative 6, 0, and our y-intercept to be 0, 8. Again, we're just replacing the x and the y with 0 and solving two separate equations. For b, same thing. Replace the y with 0, we get our x to be 3. We replace the x with 0, we get the y to be negative 15. Keep in mind, if you have an equation like this and you don't have a number, a coefficient in front of y, you can always put a little 1 in there, and that might help when you're simplifying. A lot of students get tripped up on the last one because it's just written differently. So we're going to take a look at how to do this one. I already have my answers here, but let's take a look. If I replace the y with 0, so I have 0 equals 1 fifth x minus 3. I have to solve and get my x all by itself. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So I end up with 3 equals 1 fifth x. Now we talked about this in our class, in that in getting rid of that fractional coefficient means we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is the fraction flipped upside down. So we're going to go ahead and multiply on the right side by 5 over 1 and the left side by 5 over 1. If I need to, I can put a little 1 underneath that 3 and multiply as well. So 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 times 1 is 1, so it's just 15. And over here, my reciprocals, when multiplied, cancel each other out, and I'm just left with x. So that's how we get the x-intercept, zero, uh, 15 comma 0, so that's somewhere over here. And then lastly, we're going to replace the x with 0. This one's a little bit easier. We have y equals 1 fifth, plug in 0 minus 3. 1 fifth times 0 is just 0. We get y equals negative 3. So that is right here. And we'll go ahead and graph them with a straight line through. And that is how you graph intercepts. Replace the x with 0 to get the y-intercept. Simplify and solve your equation. Write your answer as an ordered pair. Graph it. If you want the x-intercept, you replace the y with 0. Simplify and solve. Get the x value. Write it as an ordered pair and graph it.